5 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Got coffee going. At American Legion Post 101, Harold's getting ready for a very long day. You'll get a kick out of it. Biscuits and gravy is a good thing. Sticks to your ribs. Fills them up. Well, this is their breakfast. Yum, yum. What for you? Biscuits. Biscuits. By the time I'm done, that'll be full of nice sausage gravy. Well, we got a bunch of guys that found it in their heart to help our veterans. So that's why we're up at 5 o'clock in the morning cooking this stuff. Plus, we enjoy it. About 200 biscuits and five gallons of gravy later, it's off to a small bar about 50 meters down the road. Jeff Apps, the owner of the Edge Bar, he started this seven years ago. In 2008, uh, the idea came to me that I was looking for something to do for the community. Being an Air Force uh, retiree, I thought that's give back to the veterans. So dozens of bikers got together for the seventh annual Southwest Indian Summer Veterans Run. And we raise money so that when a veteran comes through our town, he breaks down, needs a little helping hand, he can go to his local American Legion Club. Any military veteran, whether he's a retiree, active duty, it doesn't matter, but they were a veteran and they're down and out and they need some, something to get them by. And it's the way the American Legion pays back to our veterans. There goes a lot of hard work and dedication and devotion with these, and a lot of them are from the veterans and the Women's Auxiliary and Post 101 that come together. What'd you decide to, to do this? Uh, well, my girlfriend works at the bar, <laughs> so it really wasn't too much of a choice. But uh, it's, it's really good with the camaraderie. We get a lot of different clubs out here, um, the Green Knights. We got a, a lot of different uh, organizations that represented it represented. After a warm meal, a short speech, and a few moments of silence, Amen. kickstands come off the ground, engines come to life, and the smell of leather fills the air. It's my break time now for about an hour, then it's back to it. <clears throat> right here. Yes. Look at that. Sweet. Redneck rotisserie. Uh, we did uh, baked beans, um, baked potatoes, corn on the cob, and it's all right now being prepared at American Legion Post 101. We're, we're coming down we're to coming the end. We're coming down to the end. We're coming down to the end. And I'm so happy. tired. Almost 200 miles later, they're back. How was it? Good. good run, man. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was great. Now it's time for the food. Food and relaxation. Mission accomplished on the ride. I'm happy about that. Do you actually have a good turnout right. with donations? <laughs> well, I don't know the uh, numbers, but yeah, we had a great turnout and great donations. Oh, sorry. That's what he wanted to I think now, more than we expected, good. I think. It's time to celebrate what this group of leather clad vets and supporters have accomplished. And it all started with biscuits and gravy at five in the morning. Harold is probably one of the best advocates we've ever seen for veterans, and he really puts a lot into these events for us. Senior and Shane Mitchell. It's getting tougher and tougher out there. Mountain Home, Idaho. We'll be able to help him out. It's breathtaking. We need to sit back and just watch it all and be a part of it. It really is. It's, go it's going to help support vets. You know, vets that are in need, in crisis, homeless, having problems with PTSD. 
it's a really good cause. A lot of these guys are struggling. All I do is try to make it so that somebody else has it easier or has it better. And if I can help them get along with that, then I, I feel good about that. I've been doing it seven years. I'll probably do it another seven years or longer. Anytime Jeff wants me to do it, I will be here to do it because of our veterans. Uh, there's no bigger heart than a biker. And I uh, hope you'll see that. Would you like to get cut, Shane? I, I, I would like some fries. <laughs>